have a couple of whale oil lamps. The one on the right is 1820s and the one on the left is 1861, 62, 63, somewhere around the Civil War. <clears throat> they have their original whale oil burners. You can see how the burner kind of goes down into the um, font. See how that does? And that, that one there, that was because whale oil, if it got a little cool in the house, would kind of uh, gel up a little and so when you lit it you um, some of the heat was transferred down into the font and you were able to uh, liquefy it better. This one here uh, has a blown top and a single mold molded bottom and it's connected by three wafers. In other words these were made separate and then these wafers here, there's one, two, three, were heated and they join the bottom to the top. Now on this one here, the bottom has a lot of problems because um, they didn't know how to do single molds and um, there's no line anywhere. There's a lot of wear on the edges as you can see. There's no line and some of the mold, the glass, kind of shot out and is not quite circular. I'm not sure if any of that is picking up but... And this is um, crystal. You can see the top. If I can get that to focus. And you can see the top. Of course the uh, wick is not original. <clears throat> now by the time they got to this era, technology had advanced a little bit. And the bottom is double molded. The top is double molded. But they still needed a wafer right here to join them together because they were made separate. Now this one is purple glass. They use manganese to, for clarity of the glass during the Civil War because lead was confiscated for bullets. And so if you put this in the sun, it gets a little lilac and then deeper and deeper purple as time goes on. And that too has its original top. I can get that to focus as its original top and uh, the, this is since this is mold it's very thick and this is thinner because it's blown but it's neat to see those wafers and they're not all you can see they're not all straight see there's Kind of neat the way they, uh, it melted. When they squished them together, it was hot anyhow. That's how they did it back in the day. But with this one, there's only one. Now you'll notice with whale oil lamps and caffeine lamps of the day, which was a form of alcohol, which was dangerous, you notice how the font is kind of like, uh, you know, north to south. It's not fat. See how skinny they are? And kerosene lamps, if you, I don't have one here, they're fat. In other words, east to west. That's because with whale oil, you could fill it right to the top. And so you needed some volume. But with kerosene, which came around 1850s, 1860s, this is one of the last of the whale oil lamps. The uh, fonts go this way, west to east, because <clears throat> with kerosene you can only fill them up about 50%. If you go beyond 50%, what you get is smoke. So they went. So in order to get some volume, they went more east to west. So whale oil lamps are kind of cool. A bygone era when whale oil 
was a form of fuel usually used by the well-to-do because it wasn't as dangerous as caffeine fluid which was like I said a form of alcohol and uh, created a lot of house fires so one on the right 1820s one on the left Civil War era thanks for watching